we are back right from where we stopped yesterday mixing our ingredients i want to share with you how typically it was done in buganda region cooking eating all that process guys trying the tradition way and right now uh, i wanted to put the sauce on top but remember we have a lot of foods pumpkins sweet potatoes if the space is enough or we only had few we could put our sauce on top of the top potatoes as you're seeing me trying to do it you get some small things and put them on top it's like to separate the food and the sauce so you put the sauce on top as you're seeing me doing it you cover it very well and you're free to put the banana leaves but since we have other foods to put on top the pumpkins hope you're seeing they cannot fit there you see it really can't there are many and the saucepan is small so you just have to open up your banana fibers make space in the middle where you're going to sit your saucepan that has your soup for it to be set safe not to pour as you're trying to put the banana leaves and other things then you go on filling other foods aside as you wish that's how it was done but if it was a larger saucepan or bigger one you could really feel it has many foods as you want so our saucepan is small we are limited so you have to be careful with this procedure okay then you start filling in your pumpkin the side So guys, hope you're seeing our food. As I put our greens on top, and then I get the first banana leaf. I start covering our food. Guys, you make sure your food is filled with leaves so that it gets ready. Guys, hope you're seeing why I I prepare my food with the mingling stick. It's not that easy. Now, my hands can no longer go in what you do, you create some space. You also use your tips to put in the banana leaves inside, like this. So, the old one works as a you can call this a wrapper because we wrap it around the food for for its help it helps for the banana leaves not to be burnt those ones that are inside and in case the banana leaves are few and there is food aside that did get enough banana leaves so it cover it so well for it to boil eh?
if you have a bigger pan you cover your food but also this works now oh by the time we are done with this our fire stopped so i'm going to make a new one guys this is the most delicious meal prepared in uganda free from cooking oil to be honest it's the meal you'd like to eat every day but the hardening part about it it's cooking on firewood and that make it delicious but as you know you have to supervise it once the fire it's not there maybe you sleep off and leave it's it there set, just know so it's not going to get ready and it's so assuring here in Buganda cooking food and doesn't get ready or oh, some parts get ready and yet others are not yet ready so you have to give it a super supervision and this worries most of the women who are go, who get married to the Baganda always Baganda and like you to prepare this kind of food even if it's not prepared on charcoal but covered and prepared in that kind of manner guys this is how our food is prepared the ugandan staple food okay see us when the food is ready yeah thank you guys for watching hope it will not fall down just know it tastes yummy and you have to give it a, a long time for it to get ready if it's charcoal you have to leave it there for some good time You have to keep adding some water and we use this to create space when we are adding in water and you have to be careful. Remember the resource on top. has reduced that extent i believe it's ready now yeah a myth says it when you put a charcoal here in case water is dropping from the pan it stops and it works so guys i'm going to remove it on fire remember you have to be careful there is sauce and uh, we have to have the water nearby. And this is going to help me to put my banana leaves here. First remove the wrapper. For me and my siblings, we used to call it a card. Oh, but no Traditionally, you're supposed to do all this while milling down. Really, this tradition is hard. Guys, remember we have food on top. Eh? have to be careful let's first remove our pumpkin let's see if it's ready mm. oh it's yummy Check on our friends. We are also ready. Oh, guys, the aroma. I'm testing salt. Eh? The aroma is really, really more salt is not enough, but we are going to add a more salt.
We are going to put this food aside that is ready. Now here comes the most interesting part. So guys, you remove this, you put them back here. It's too cold. Eh? That's why we need that water there. Oh. Now you cover it like this. Start doing like this. This helps the food not to drop out of the original banana leaves. Eh? You keep doing so as you're putting it in place. Eh? On top, in sides, like that. Hope you're seeing it from here. This water had reduced. Hope you're seeing it like that. I'm going to add in little water this time around. Yeah? Guys, since we have um, we are going to put it back with this banana leaf, another one. For it not to get soaked in water. It was not enough, eh? so I'm going to add in some more salt. Oh, I'm even salivating. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, guys, we are going to test whether the beef is ready. Okay. Mm. Soft. The person who is behind the camera, sorry. If I can't stop there. <laughs> Better it myself. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should even taste that soup. Mm. Gladys. <laughs> Gladys. Mm. So soft, nice, delicious, yummy. Mm -mm. Guys, come and taste this. Anyway, since no other um, dishes, we are going to put it here. Mm. We're going to put it back so that by the time we serve it, it's hot and as well as again, it will be more softer than the way it is. So guys, we are going to put it on heat again. In Uganda, we call it okomere. Giving banana time to look so yummy and taste yummy as well. Then I'm going to clean where I've worked from, guys. Okay, see us when we are eating. We are not going to add in any more fire. We shall just leave it on that charcoal you're seeing. Try this at home. Try 
preparing this at home and I'm wondering what made me smash or mingle my toke time back because this food really tastes so yummy. Ah, so guys, it's time for dinner. Guys, you're going to see how we serve our mato. Okay. Leave this behind. We are going to go with our food. Our souls. <laughs> okay, come for food. Come and sit. Don't be dumb. Yes, remember this we had to put on top. We are going to need the baby. Come and sit here. Come, sit here. Before nowadays we use forks and spoons, baby. Really. We use forks and spoons, but long ago, traditionally, this is how they used to do it. You move the cup around, everyone cleaning her hands or washing them. Or water. And I'm also cleaning my hands. There's your first serve that beef eh? to make sure it's enough. For these ones, guys, this is how they do it. You do it like this and you fold it again. This one helps you to serve food. You leave the other part covered. 
they put food for you where you are seated hope you're seeing how it's done and then the remaining food was covered to keep it hot okay let's have prayer lead us put it okay she recited the muslim prayer i'll say amen maybe put it here Chao Maria, eh? Now you're not supposed to sit like this. Put your hand. The grandma would put this hot food on your hand and you feel it. So you're supposed to put your hand like this and you eat. No standing up, no leaving food until we are done eating. No looking into your friend's plate. And even if you are done eating, you could keep seated there and wait for all other members to get done and then you all leave at once. Meat was the last thing to be eaten. You had to eat matoke, your pumpkin and all the food and then you eat the meat last. They did this not to make it look at other people's plates and also not to think that they never gave them beef so you had to keep your beef in your plate until so guys that's how they used to dine together though it changed now we eat from dining tables using forks thank you for watching see how she's seated i uh, my grandma would cane you eh? would tell you go to sleep it seems you don't like food <laughs> baby sit properly to love lunch she doesn't even understand that but we are supposed to sit properly as i showed you guys thank you for watching until this point we are busy enjoying our food until we meet again in our next vlog thank you bye bye food was not thrown away but rather you keep it for the morning breakfast the way you're seeing this you see matoke is done so you put this aside you go cover it with a fresh plate the untouched food would be stored for the next morning and now these ones that had the food were thrown away. And you would keep these fresh banana leaves for the, for the, the next uh, for the next day when we are cooking. The youngest would remove the plates. <laughs> so guys that that's how it was done traditionally unlike today where things change you eat from the dining table you leave the plate there the maid or someone else come and fix it you eat alone from your bedroom wherever but time back traditionally this is how it was done thank you for watching guys we are going to now for you you take the food inside I did tell you if if we had men around, men would sit on the chairs or stools and the ladies would sit down. Then I'll have to clean the mat. Yeah, that's how it was. Typically done in Uganda. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again in our next vlog.